We had a, a number of um, of screen ins over the weekend. Uh, and so certainly they've have all been sent. A busy long weekend for Cadham Labs as they put the search for a COVID-19 variant of concern into high gear. A good sign so far is that there is still only that one positive case from a week ago. Over the weekend, uh, uh, our public health lab um, uh, went back to the beginning of February, to, uh, screened all samples back to the beginning of February that they had uh, to look for this. So we did see uh, a number of, of hits in addition to the, to the seven. But don't sound the alarm bell just yet. The provincial testing lab screens samples for similar traits to the B117 variant of concern. The Manitoba-born strain is not a VOC, but does have some similar traits that make it appear like B117 during screening. And that's why many more samples were sent away for genome sequencing provincially this weekend. It's really important that we keep this, these vac uh, variants of concern um, from uh, grabbing a, a, you know, a foothold in our community or it will really have a negative impact on our ability to reopen. As for our COVID-19 numbers, they're holding steady. We had uh, 96 cases today to uh, report and 71 from yesterday. The current five-day COVID-19 test positivity rate is 5.9% provincially and 4.5% in Winnipeg. Currently, there are 1,625 active cases and 28,432 people have recovered. A concerning number for Manitoba's top doctor, contacts. On average, we're still seeing, you know, roughly that two to three contacts per case. Um, but that has a huge range of, uh, of you know, zero to, to over 60. With Ash Wednesday approaching, Dr. Rusin reiterated that while places of worship can operate with 10% capacity or 50 people if that's lower, the fundamentals and social distancing are still required. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.